everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a body brush nymph slash pupa. And in the vise I have a barbless hook. This is a partridge grub straight tie in a size 14. But you could also tie this in sizes 16, 12 or any size to match the naturals. And here I also have a bead. This one is a 2.8 millimeter brass bead and in black. And I've also tied these with some gold heads, so you can just change the color of your bead. You can also put in like a fluo pink or fluo orange to make it pop a little more. And then for the materials, this is really simple, we only need a few. The first one is this pearl tinsel here from Vivas in the size medium. You could also go with small. And this is to build up a little tag here at the back. You could also use some holographic ones or in any color that you want, or you can just leave this out if you don't want this little tag or hotspot right at the back. Then the body material is going to be this, what I call a body brush or a nymph brush, and this is a dubbing brush. And this one is some small ultra wire and spun in, in between is some hair sear and this one is olive and also a little bit of olive opossum just to keep it together and it's really sparse as you can see and this is going to make a nice body segmented with a little bit of shine to it and also with this these fibers sticking out making it really natural looking. Then to add some legs and just a little bit of movement and a little bit of length to the fly I'm going to use some CDC, this one is in the color olive and you only need just a few strands, we will show this a little bit later and for the thorax I'm going to use a mix of dubbing, some hair sear in olive and some of this SLF spiky dubbing in the color natural fox and this is just going to Make a nice olive brown dubbing mix with a lot of spiky fibers sticking out in the front. So I'm going to attach my Vivus. This is their GSP 30 denier, and this is the size of an 18 knot, and it's in white, so it's going to take the colors, or it's just going to blend in nicely with all the rest of the materials. So I'm going to start right behind the bead, put down a few turns of thread. Then you can cut off the excess. And here on my way down I'm going to tie in the tinsel. And this is some medium pearl tinsel. And I'm just going to tie this in the whole length going down. And then you have to make sure that this stays on your side. I'm just going to go a little bit down the bend and then up again. And here I'm going to go up to about the half point of the body. And then I'm going to use some super glue to make this adhere. I'm just going to make this a little bit more secure. So I'm going to coat or put down a little bit of super glue. And then I'm going to wind the tinsel up in the glue. And this is going to make it really nice and secure. So just a few turns. And here I'm going to build this up a little bit longer than I actually need it. This way I can then just go over it with the other materials and it's going to make a nice smooth transition. So a few turns and then tie this one down. Cut off the excess. Then I'm going to take this body brush and I'm going to tie it in all the way up inside the bead and this is going to make the bead a little bit more secure, it's not going to move when we tie in the other materials. And if you wanted to, you could also add a little bit of lead free wire right here inside the bead. This will make it sink a little bit faster, but for this one, as I'm going to use some CDC, I'm going to more imitate like a pupa. So I don't want to put a tungsten bead on this, I just want this brass bead to make it sink a little bit, but not too much. So I'm going to tie this down and here I'm going to leave just a few millimeters of this tinsel sticking out towards the back. And then park your thread right behind the bead. And then this is really simple, we're just going to make touching turns with this brush. 
and this is going to make a nice segmented body and also with these olive or this olive dubbing inside the two spun wires it's going to make a really buggy looking fly and it's going to make a nice body and really simple you can build up any kind of nymph this way and you can also do a whole lot of different color combos. I made these in red and brown, red and black and blue and gray and all kinds of different colors and this just makes this really nice material that you can really easily tie in. And as I mentioned before I don't want to put too much weight on this as this body is, this is almost only wire, this is going to make to fly a little bit more heavy and make it sink a little bit faster so I don't want to add even more wire inside the bead and then just a few turns and then break this brush away and then for the start of the thorax I'm going to take one single CDC feather and here I've started using this on two other flies but here I'm also going to take the clip from the Marc Petitjean magic tool and I'm going to grab just a few fibers then cut these away from the stem and here as you can see I don't use many at all and then I'm going to split my thread so spin it counterclockwise and then with the dubbing needle you can come in and poke right through the middle and this is going to split the thread in two and this way we can insert the CDC then close the two threads and then remove this little clip and I'm going to space these out just a little bit more to make it uniform and just a little bit longer on the thread this way I can make about two and a half turns of these instead of just one and to make them really nice looking and sticking out or just to be all around the hook instead of clumped up in one space then spin the bobbin clockwise and this is going to cord the thread and then I'm going to take these up or just right here in front of the wire making a few turns and make sure to pull these back as you go and there we have a little veil of CDC and here I think less is more with these it's just going to trap a few air bubbles or some air and make some bubbles here alongside the body and this is going to represent this emerging caddis pupa and then the last thing is this dubbing mix this is some SLF in uh, spiky dubbing in natural fox and some olive hairs here and I've just done a finger mix with these and here I'm going to need a little bit more dubbing as maybe you you would think as this bead is still not really secure I'm going to first build up a little dubbing ball right near the bead and this is going to sink in behind it as well and this is going to make it really secure and then I'm going to start building up the thorax and here I will make sure that this is really nice and secure and then right up to behind the bead and we don't need much we just want a little bit of spikiness and the dubbing or the thorax is going to be about the same size as the bead and then I'm going to do a whip finish and here I'm going to do a second one and I will not put on any kind of varnish or glue I'm just going to make these two whip finishes and these are going to sink down right behind the bead and you won't even see the thread so this is going to be really secure and then the last thing to do is just to brush this out a little bit making it nice looking for the fisherman 
So there we go. And there we have this really simple body brush nymph slash pupa. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time.